Sure, it'd be nice to be able to walk out the door without looking at a temperature of minus seven. It's already May 11th. I mean, we got to get going here. But there is an optimistic sound on the horizon. My brother got going extremely early this morning. The land is just coming ready. So they're just preparing a few wet spots and I'm pretty sure they're going to be sending the air seeder out and hopefully get some wheat put in today. I also noticed a little bit of work done on the corn ground, so I imagine there'd be a little bit of work, a little bit of seed put down there too. As we press to get something done with rain in the forecast again, but optimism on the, on the horizon it almost looks like we're going to get some 20 degree weather. I'll wait and see. Six degrees and the bees are flying. So as goes my rule, when there is beekeeping weather, we work bees. Right now I have the crew busy just doing maintenance work inside of the honey house with uh, cleaning up frames and painting boxes and making patties. I think I'm going to, it's too cold. I mean, it was minus nine last night and we're not out of it yet. So it's too cold to actually do any transfer work. We got to move these nukes. And it's too cold to, I don't know, it's too cold to do anything really. I don't want to stagger these highs by trying to manipulate them. So we're not going to work these highs. We're going to have to be a little more patient and just allow things to happen. But the bees are flying, so we got to get some work done because once this nice weather comes, we are going to be so far behind, we won't know which way to turn. It's six degrees and they're bringing streams of pollen into the colony. Uh, just so encouraging. It's actually a beautiful day, nice and sunny, no wind. And six degrees is supposed to get up to 10, I hope. So natural stuff coming back in, that's good. So my intention here is to just take a peek down into the brood nest Whoops, spilled some bees on me. My intention here is just to peek down into this brood nest just to see what's going on. These hives, obviously, we'll take a peek here. They are six frames of bees and they are ready to be transferred. I just want to see how many frames of broods going on inside. I just want to see um, how that nest has been developing over the last few days. So here's a frame with some honey on it. Full of eggs and larvae. And this side is right full of larvae. Young larvae, just hatched. Could have a little more jelly in the bottom of those cells but we're going through a dearth and they've run out of supplement if I had a patty I'd give them right now here's a full frame of brood which is emerging This side is emerging and being filled up with eggs right away. So we have little guys coming out. 
and the queen's got to be close because there's eggs all through here. So she's using her space wisely. So what I'm concerned about is being a staggered development between the uh, of the brood because of this cold weather we've had. I'm seeing old brood, the cat brood, I'm seeing eggs, I'm seeing young brood, I'm seeing larvae that's just hatched from the egg. Beautiful. These guys need to be transferred. They're, they're going to start getting tight. They're not overly crowded right now. The queen seems to have lots of space here to lay. She's filling in all that space as the brood emerges. But as that brood emerges, this colony is going to get full and fuller and fuller of bees. Beautiful frame of brood. I haven't found that queen yet. She must be on the last frame. So I look at a frame of bees, a uh, frame of brood, cat brood, I pretty much count one frame of brood to three frames of bees. As you, if you think of it, the, the brood, the bees are pointing this way. When they emerge, the bees are pointing that way. So it, they take up three times the space. So when this emerges, this hive is going to overflow with bees. So we need to, we need to transfer these, this equipment. I must have missed her through there. I didn't see her. She must have been on that frame with the eggs. Here's a frame of no eggs in this one. But it's got stored syrup. All right. So I'm running out of time. They have, what did it count? One, two, three, four, four frames of brood going inside. Uh, that is emerging right now. <clears throat> the queen is following suit, laying eggs everywhere she can. I've been uh, able to keep the feed to them so they have lots of food stores. There's a very important food rim around that brood nest. That's extremely important just to maintain the uh, uh, the optimism of that colony to continue brood rearing. So I have that. The only thing I'm missing in there is a uh, supplement. They've devoured that. I need to get more on there right away. But there's fresh pollen coming into the colony right now that which will provide some nutrition to, to those young larvae. I noticed the nest was a little bit dry. So they are, so she's pulled back or the bees have pulled back on the amount of jelly they provide their young. So that's not a good sign. That means we need uh, protein on these colonies. Uh, most, I mean, most of the apiary does have that, so I'm expecting everybody to be all right. They're pulling back a little bit, which is a bad sign, but they're also going to get some real fresh stuff right now. There's a lot of promise in that nest. They're maintaining themselves. They've held their integrity. They've continued on development of themselves throughout all this cold crap weather, which is really reassuring. So that's, so it's provided me optimism. But it's also provided me just that sense of sheer panic. Uh, we've got so much work we got to do when this weather breaks. Like I'm not gonna, we can't do this any of this work, any of the transferring, any hive work through this shit weather, because it does it won't do the colony any good. We have to keep these nests tight. We have to maintain its integrity. We have to, you know, force that queen to utilize that space that she has there. We need to keep those bees, you know, just confined in that box to be able to, you know maintain that house and develop out these nests best they can through these really tough conditions. As soon as this weather breaks, we hit some 20 degree days. These nests are just gonna explode in size. They're, they're gonna stretch out a little bit and we're gonna see instant response like that. These nukes are gonna need space then right now. We'll have to get them transferred into their single box equipment. I also have a bunch of them sold so I'll have to which is going to take me a lot of time just to act of selling. So we're going to have to transfer them into the equipment to sell and then push them out before they get too full. Oh, and then we've got to start queen rearing. 
we were gonna, I was projecting to start on the 10th, which was yesterday, I guess, but like, like you, uh, I'm not gonna fight mother nature. I'm just gonna try to just uh, roll with the punches. So as soon as she breaks, we're gonna go and we're gonna start searching the apiary for surplus strength. We're gonna dedicate one, maybe two yards and just skim all the strength and make up a bunch of builders. Before long, we're gonna need to have those queens ready to take off these splits. Uh, but before that, we have to go through the apiary. We gotta go through all the single boxes and we gotta skim down those big ones that we didn't double up skim off some of that brood so they don't swarm off and boost up some of these smaller ones just to help them catch up. So we got to do all this work within a week. It's going to be pretty busy, but uh, I'm not going to complain. Bring on that nice weather.